Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new gameplay episode of Top Drives. We're back on the Year of the Tiger grind. It's time for Tokyo Tigers number 6. Hopefully we will be able to get this because that will give us an epic exchange token. Which we can then use in the Tiger exchange to get the Renault Laguna. Uh, which is a very very good car actually. I think it's the best front wheel drive car in the game if I'm not mistaken. So that's definitely a great car to get hopefully we can get through this in today's video let's have a look we have 20 rounds as always to complete let's get into round number one uh, and we have some pretty steep requirements to uh, start us off here right off the bat uh, which is not to worry too much because you um you like to see this in a way too with the uh, kind of high, but not too high requirements. I really do like this. Um, hopefully we will be able to get through this. However, I am not entirely sure I have what it takes to get even the Laguna. Uh, because I do not own a single legendary for this um, category. So hopefully I can still get through it with the cards I have at my disposal, but there is no guarantee, right? If you do want to help me out by subscribing to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Of course, my big goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers. I believe we can get there if everybody just chips in. Also, if you do want to be a bro and subscribe to my second channel, feel free to do so. It's down below in the description as well. You don't even need to watch the content. You can just subscribe to be a bro if you want to. Uh, I'm trying to get it to a thousand subscribers so I can start earning money. That would be really life-changing for me because that would be another revenue stream. So if you do want to check that one out, it's the first link in the description. Uh, with that being said, however, let's continue this. That should be fine there. Look at this. This is also an easy round. This is good. This is good. Uh, feeling good when I am not struggling immediately, right? Because such has been the case in the Christmas collection and in the uh, horror show that was recently two uh, of these events that I brutally failed. So hopefully this is actually good enough for me to complete. You never know, but we can see. Uh, that is a win as well, very good. And then finally, let's have a look. Yes, this is a win as well. Very good, 266-0. Moving swiftly on. Okay, unchanged um, round time, that's fine, um, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, and that's fine, I do believe, nice. Starting off with a Tokyo drag, 92 points here. Moving on to uh, another drag, versus a slick tired car, of course, is not going to be any issues here for the Countach. The Thanos Lamborghini, if you will. Um, and uh, here goes the four-wheel drive car. Of course, that is going to do bits here. And finally, we do have this, which is versus an off-road tire car. And that's why I wasn't afraid of that uh, in any way, shape or form. And there we go. 4,000 cash. Moving on to round number four here. Uh, our Q limit slightly moved. That's good. And we once again have a full wet sort of lineup here. Let's see what we can do in terms of switching out to some wet tired cars here. That's good. Um, and I reckon this will be what we go in with, right? So for the Tokyo Bridge, I'll put this. For the G-Force test, I'll put that. For the car park, I'll put that. For the G-Force test here, I will put and this one, and then the Maserati for the hairpin road, and we should be totally fine. Of course, the Citroen is on off-road tires, that's why we have that huge advantage, even though he has four-wheel drive. Here, we should win because we just have a way better car. I don't know, however, if the Maserati Royal was maxed out, if we would have been such uh, an easy win. This, we win just because of our standard tires. Uh, this right here, we should win because of just superior stats, and we do as well. And finally, this right here, we should win because we have standard tires. And there we go. So that is round number four complete, I do believe. Yes, round number five, swiftly moving on here. Now we have even more points and we have a completely on-road scenario this time around. So let's switch this up now because we know that if it's on-road, 
we would uh, like to put some on-road cars on. We had 68 points. Can't really do anything with that, though. So we should do this. That can go versus itself. Uh, that can go there. That's fine. That can go there. That I want there. And that can go there. And we should be totally fine for round 5 as well. Doing a fourth of this challenge without even having any hitch up. Which is very, very nice. Uh, every, every step of the way that I get... I get super, super happy about, obviously. Is this the challenge you got stuck on? If it was, please let me know down below in the comment section. And if you didn't get stuck, uh, let me know how easy you thought it was to get your Laguna. Was it easy? Was it hard? Please do let me know. And there we go. That was good. And round number six here. Still have all the hope in the world here. Uh, the drag should be fine. That drag should also be fine. Overpass. Bridge hairpin. We are fine here too. This is actually so easy that I will even skip this one. How very awesome. This is really good so far. Round number 7 coming up. If we still have these very very easy rounds, I will skip them. Here though, we are talking more points. And we have some harder requirements here. Alright, let's plunk, plunk in this guy. And let's switch that guy for that guy. And we should be fine like that, I think. I'll put that on the Tokyo Drag. I'll put that on the car park. No, I'll put that on the car park. That on the loop versus itself. This on the bridge versus itself, that on the hairpin road, and this on the drag. I think this should be fine. Let's have a look though, just to be sure, because I'm not sure about the last drag. That's the one I'm a little bit worried about, but that could be resolved quite easily if it is a loss. I just wanted to do this to see if we could get this over with quick and easy this round. That is great. Uh, the Gimpert, of course, does not have standard tires like our Jaguar, that's why we win. That is a loss versus the 996. That is very interesting. I would never imagine that. I'm happy I didn't skip because then I would think the drag was what we lost because of. Okay, so we are going to switch out some of the positioning here. Uh, so this can go, instead of going there, I will put that on the hairpin road, see if that is any better. And then that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. And let's have a look at this hairpin road. I just feel like we have the extra engine traction bonus, but not only that, we also have the 94 handling to his 87, which feels like we should have the edge. Yeah. Um, so that, that should be it, and it is nice, very good. Round number 8 coming up. Uh, and now we have 320 points just like last time. Let's see what we can do on this one. Uh, overpass, I'll put that one, I think. Uh, and that can go on G-Force test. That can go on the drag. I do believe the Tokyo Loop is the easier one. So I'll put that one there. And I'll put this one on the bridge. And we shall see what happens. The bridge is fine. We do win that one. That's good. Um, the G-Force test is fine, which is nice. That's good. That's good. The drag is also a win. Just very barely. The overpass is also barely a win. And finally, we have the loop. Which is a loss, barely. Okay. So, tell you what I will do, is I will put in the, um, I will remove this car, and I will put in this, and we should be fine, uh, by putting this on one of these. I'll put it on the loop, and hopefully, uh, or the bridge actually, and I'll put that one on the loop, and that one on the overpass, drag, and GeForce test. I think this should be fine, because of the incredible MRA. Yes. And there we go. Moving on now to round number 9. Very nice. Still 320 points to play with. We have 3 uh, of these now. I'm gonna put these 3 there. That should be fine. Just uh, having a look at what I should put where. And then we have a Tokyo off-ramp that we need to deal with. That one is a little bit difficult there. Um, so instead of this, I will put in... 
this and that should be good enough actually for the off ramp I do believe um, so then this went here this goes here and this goes here and hopefully this is fine we shall see though that is good nice that is fine very good This is fine, that's nice. That one I was a little bit iffy about, but that worked. This one also I'm a little bit iffy about. Yeah, we just have so much handling compared to the Bentley, that's why we win there. And this should be fine, yeah. Good, 250-0, and that is round number 9 completed. Round number 10, and let's see what we have. We have a full rain except for the drag all right so let's uh, see what we can do here i reckon we remove um in this guy perhaps and put in this guy uh, so then we put that on the drag we put this on the car park i do believe is the best for that this one on the bridge i do believe is best for that this should beat that on the loop, and this should beat that on the hairpin. Hopefully all of this uh, checks out now, though. That is a win. I was a little bit uh, disorientated with which car was ahead there, me or his, but we do win. That we do win as well, that's good. Um, this one we should be able to win as well, and we do. Very good. Uh, and then we have this one, which should be a win, I think. It is. Very good. And then the final round, which is a drag, that should be a win as well. Because we do have quite some long legs on the Ford Focus. Very good. 4,000 cash. And we're moving on to round number 11. Halfway there now, which is nice. Let's service this car, because I have a feeling we will use it more. Uh, and let's have a look at what we have here. So we have a full on-road now. Uh, which is interesting, which means we should probably get rid of all of these and do a full on-road sort of squad. That goes in, that goes in. Uh, I reckon that might go in here and then that goes in. So we have the one mile drag which, with the mirror, that should be fine. We have the waterfront drag, which should be totally fine. We have the half mile drag, which should be fine. The Narrow city streets should be fine, and the city streets should be fine. We should be totally fine here. All throughout this one. That is indeed a win. Very nice. This one should be a win. Four extra handling really does the trick on this one. And then we do win this one as well. Nice. Very good. And this one should be good. Yeah, good MRA on the M3 GTS, of course. And then finally, this should be a win as well, because we just have the same car. There we go, 250-0, and that is round number 11 done. Round number 12 coming up. And once again, I am going to service this car as well, because I have a feeling we are going, going to maybe have to use that one again. Now we have a little bit more uh, RQ, so I think we are going to exchange this for this, and we are going to go in like this. Uh, I'm gonna put that one there, that should be fine. Uh, this one will definitely win there, but so will this, so I would rather put that one in there, I think, and that one in there, that one in there, and that one in there, and that should be fine. Sorry for uh, kicking a empty can of energy drink there, that's my bad. Um, and let's move on. This should be fine, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Five extra handling really does do a solid job there. This should be fine because, again, it's just the same car, but ours is maxed. Uh, and this should be fine because we have a lot of MRA over the uh, Subaru there. And this is also fine because of the very much extra handling that we have, although he does have the MRA on us. Uh, that is fine. Round number 13 is a mixed round, however, which is giving me a little bit of a scared vibe here. But that should be totally fine, as the mixed one has a completely on-road car on it. So we are totally fine with just using our GMC here. Uh, I was afraid it would be something more scary there on that round. So that should be fine. That should be fine and that should be fine and we should be good to go here with this round 
Uh, starting off with the narrow city streets, the free extra handling is all that is needed to win that one. This one, we should have the MRA on the Maybach, and we do. Very good. And uh, this one, we should be totally fine. Obviously, we have a maxed epic to his almost maxed ultra rare, should be no problem. This one, again, we just have that extra 0 to 60 that is just going to push us over the edge. And this one, we just have that off road capability that the Maserati simply does not possess. Very good. Round number 14 here, moving back to on road. Let's see what we have. Uh, we have once again a completely on road, on road. Uh, I mean, completely dry on road round. Completely on road, on road round. Yeah, it would be very weird if not. Um, no, this one, of course, in. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do here. So we have a fast circuit that can be taken care of with that. We have this one that needs to go somewhere. I think that should go here. Uh, this can go here, and then this can go here, and then this can go here. And we should be totally fine here, too. This is feeling very, very good, actually. It's feeling like I'm going to be able to complete this challenge and get the Renault, at least, which is something that is super, super awesome. If we do not manage to get the Jaguar, at least getting the Renault is definitely a consolation prize that I'm happy to take, right? Um, so hopefully we can continue here and get all the way. Um, we are getting so very close now with this round number 14 being completed. Just six more rounds and we are there. Round number 15 is also on road. And we have the same amount of RQ here. But this time around we have a fully fledged um, rainy round. That will still go there is what I'm thinking. But then the rest of my remaining hand, I think I need to swap out here to something more uh, friendly with the fact that it is... That can perhaps stay in, right? So if that goes there, and this one goes here, that should be fine. And then for the rest, we want that one there for sure. That one can go there, and then that one there. And we should be good for this one, I do believe. So to start us off, we do win this one, which is very good. That is a good one. This one I'm a little bit afraid of. Let's see. No, we do win. We actually seem to have better MRA, which is good. This one we do win as well. 84 points. Super happy about that. This one should be fine because of our standard tires, and it is indeed. And finally, this one should be good because of the MRA values of the cars, and it is. So there we go. Very, very nice. Round number 15 completely demolished. Round number 16 to go. Let's see. Uh, once again, we have a full sort of a rainy vibe here. I'm going to mirror this here, and I'm going to put this one here. And then the rest of this we should be able to just finally do this one should be fine here uh, once again this one should beat that one and that one should beat that one and we should be good to go i am a little bit afraid about the monaco g-force that is going to come up here but hopefully we do have the stats on our side here you can see the extra handling trying to work and that is actually a tie uh, which is not going to prove enough here uh, so that makes me wonder what we can switch that one with. 63 points, right? Uh, okay, makes me wonder if something like this would suffice, actually. Uh, we can try, and we will. So that one there, uh, that one there, I do believe I did. And that one there, and that one there. I do think the Subaru will work in this case because of the four-wheel drive standard tires and all of the turning that is done in this uh, specific event. You can see we are going to win that. So there we go. Moving on. That is round number 16, which means we are so very close to this now. So very close. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Okay. So now we have the um, GMC coming in for us here. Okay, so now we are one point too much here, which is unfortunate. Is this something we can put in? I don't know. 
Okay, so let's think about this. That can go there. No, no, no. That can that that can go there. Sorry. Uh, this will just. I don't know. I think I want to put that on the drag, right? And that one can go there. That one can go there. So then, what do we put on the Monaco hairpin? Uh, hmm. Or actually, we could just do this, right? For the one mile drag. I do believe so. So then, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Correct? I hope so. Okay, so first of all, rallycross circuit. No problem. Of course, we do have those off-road capabilities with that car. This should be fine as well. It is. Very nice. And here we have the mirror, which is no problem for our BMW. And then we have the one mile drag. Yeah, I was gonna think uh, the high end acceleration was really gonna save us there and it did. And this is fine. So there we go. Round number 17 in the bag. Moving on, round number 18. This is where you don't want to fail. And now we have a lot of points here. Two city streets. Okay, and all on road, okay. So for the city streets, of course, this is one of the cars we are going to be using. This is medium, and this is the other car we will be using. And then we can put in this car as well, which means we will have uh, some good candidates for the remaining things. We want to put that one there, that one there. Uh, we want to put this one here. Uh, this one here and this one here and we should be totally fine for this round as well, which is a blessing uh, That is a win. We just have the MRA over the uh, Pontiac This one should be a win because obviously the Gimpert gets stuck on the speed bump Same goes for the second round here with the Sesto Elemento Although it is maxed it will get very stuck on the speed bumps meaning the Pontiac will win and then here we should win, we just have the better stat line, and it is indeed a win. And finally here, we should obviously win because of our better stat line once again, and there we go. That is round number 18 complete, so now is the round in which we see if we can continue this series uh, uh, in any way. Let's have a look. We have a full on road for this one, and we have a test bowl that is looking quite gnarly to be honest. Uh, what was that test ball on? Oh, it's not a test ball. That's the test ball. The test ball is fine. Okay, so the drag I do believe this one should out drag that and then this one should out slalom that and then this one and this one Yeah, yeah, we should be fine here, right? Oh, that's tight All right So what do we have? that will do better on that drag versus that guy we don't have anything that will do better than a tie right oh that is a little bit scary well that depends if the volvo is able to win uh, which i am unsure about but maybe and if it does we should be fine like this we shall see. The maxed out Volvo. Is it enough? It is. Nice. Okay. I think that is it for this round. Because that's a win. Yeah, yeah. This is a win. Yes. Very good. This right here should be a win. It is as well. Very nice. And finally... This should be a win. And it is. So there we go. Yes, the show will go on at least. Now for the epic prize exchange token. Of course, this is also a very important round. Let's see what we are working against. It's an easy round to end us off, which is very nice of them to do. So let's plonk this in and let's do it. So this here, this here this here this here and this here and we win very very nice guys 50 points here let's watch all of this let's savor it 50 points here very nice 
50 points here. Of course, the 996 won't win the karting. 50 points here. Ours is upgraded. And finally, 50 points here. Let's go, guys. That is actually poggers. Let's go. Epic exchange token. <laughs> Let's get that one uh, exchanged. And uh, we are going to be done with this challenge. Tiger exchange. Renault Laguna. Let's join it. Let's plonk in some really bad Year of the Tiger cars here. And let's get that Laguna going. Here we go. Are you ready for this, guys? I am ready for this. Let's skip match and... Bam. Renault Sport Laguna BTCC. Absolutely great. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. I am going to get rid of an unlocked car, of course, so that we can add and block that amazing Renault. Let's do it right now. Add and lock. Very good. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave it a like. If you feel stuck in the challenges and you want to find somewhere where you can get some help with that, check out my public Discord server in the description below. It's called the Top Drives Hideout. We have over 1,500 members and many of them can help you if you are stuck in challenges. And if you guys do want to support me further, I have a Patreon. And if you want to see every single max that I do, I have an Instagram page for that. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. Until next time, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another, and goodbye, guys.